So this is going to be uh, Aries Sun Moon Iron as well uh, rising weekly general tarot reading January 20th to January 26, 2020. And uh, if you are guys are interested uh, into a personal reading with me, you can check the description down below, and there you're gonna find a, a link to my website. Uh, that being said. Uh, in this video, we're going to do something different than the uh, usual readings they do. Uh, this time around, we're going to read in string, which means no specific positions. It's just seven cards. Whatever they show, they show. So first one, uh, which is the first one, uh, that will be uh, the chariot card. So Aries is with the chariot card. That week itself is going to be a week of, uh, a week of triumph. All right triumph with most likely everything you do so you have to arm yourself right guys it's time to conquer fortresses it's time to conquer relationships it's time to conquer enterprises and tasks in your job uh, in your romantic life as well you know into your friendship circle whatever you go now important thing with the chariot card however it is that is going to be a rough deal all right it's going to be difficult it's going to be hard because chariot it's all about winning at all uh, against all odds okay so that being said you will need to how can i say it's kind of like have that warm hungry spirit all right where you don't give up you, even if you are uh, with your back against the wall you give a resistance you give a push you give a punch back okay now uh chariot card is also related with singularity which means that the more help you use the less benefits you're gonna have at the end and uh, after all at the end of the day the win the triumph and uh, the overcoming it needs to be um, because you did it and not because somebody else helped you what i mean is that it needs to have your own personal signature because you are to have as well a lot of appreciations in term of the chariot in term of recognition and in term of rewards at the end of the day if you do the things in the right way meaning you deal with the problems you are facing on your own okay without whining and without pitying over uh pitying over yourself Another thing with the chariot, though, it's about a little bit about rushing. What I mean is that you may kind of face risks here into jumping prematurely into relationships, prematurely into actions as well. So it will be a good thing with the chariot uh, card to, how can I say it, to act like a, uh, a mature person instead of... Um, spoiled spoiled child i don't know how to how to say it and make your plans and make your strategies if you will according to the situation you're facing so what i am saying here is that whatever you are facing a trouble throughout the week or whatever you have to make a conquest you need to arm yourself with your iron will determination all right patience and as well create creativity or kind of like um being clever okay that kind of a uh, quality of being clever and then charge forward now the next card that we do have that is to be the king of wands and that is someone you are making an, a big impression into it is because the king of wands is a king of wands it is a, a very ambitious individual i mean they only care about their own personal ambition they do have certain criteria about the people around and for what it seems you kind of fit with those criteria as the chariot sits on the first uh, on the first position so that is that could be your boss being highly impressed by your skills and by your determination you know it could be as well your for example husband being impressed how dedicated you are to the family and so on and so forth now the thing with the king of wands is that um, how can i say it they're going to be enthralled by you it is because if a, a, a uh, if up until this moment they have found you as a very weak, now they are finding you as a force to be reckoned with. Now they are finding you as a challenge. And it seems that now a part of their ambition, it is you. And make no mistake, guys, this one here transforms ambition into powerful action. So it does look like that they will try to make a contact to build a bridge in between you two or to kind of like get into your life 
one way or another. Another thing about the King of Wands it is that they really like to enjoy life, meaning partying, drinking, maybe drugs as well. It's just they like the good part of life. Uh, the third card that we do have is going to be uh, the Nine of Cups. Hmm. So that is another confirmation that the week is going to be very productive and very beneficial for you. Now, the Nine of Cups points that uh, throughout the week you will have the chance to make a, a wish fulfillment or rather like a life fulfillment approach, you know, actions or a, a decisions, if you will. Now, the thing with the Nine of Cups, it is that whatever you achieve, however, even if that is a wish comes true, it is quite unstable. OK, because uh, the card itself points to reaching a point that you wanted, but it does not point about sustainability. So that being said, once you have your wish fulfilled throughout the week, Aries, one of your wishes fulfilled or two or a couple, maybe all of them. Who knows? I, I wish that it is all of all of them for you guys. You should not drop off your guard, all right? You are not out of the woods yet. And you have to do a necessary actions here to secure your achievements so you can transform these benefits, this happiness, this love, for example, or whatever is going to make your life fulfilled from a, a short lasting one into a, a long last, lasting one. Um, Nine of Cups as well, it's a card pointing that the universe itself or the fate itself is going to lay its grace upon you um, with a full fistfuls. So it's likely that whatever you say goes, it is likely that whatever you touch happens, it is likely that whatever you want to do is going to manifest. The uh, fourth card we do have for you is going to be the Four of Wands. So... Uh, now, as we see with with the first three cards, it's going to be quite an important week. And the fourth one, it does not strain for that. Four of Wands, it's the card pointing that this week, it's important. It is because it's going to be a week where you finalize a, a very important cycle in life. All right. Uh, it's like closing up a, a chapter and it's going to be closed in such a way that you are going to have a prerequisite to celebrate. OK, it's going to be a reason for you to celebrate about. So you can expect a um, successful finalization of a um, of a romantic endeavor. You can expect as, as well, very successful um, ending of a project, finding a, a very good job, for example, ending up with a, a awesome suitor that is everything you have ever wanted and so on and so forth. But once again, Four of Wands, it is just about a milestone. It is, it is just about the chapter. A chapter of dating, for example, is closed. And now you have to think about the next chapter. The next chapter has to be something bigger. Okay, it's like living together. It is like engagement. It is like marriage, for example. It is like having a child and so on and so forth. So it's like you are stepping here to me with those four cards, Aries. It looks like that this week it is the final efforts, the final push, the most hard thing one needs to do to um, kind of go through the finish line in this chapter of your life and move to the next one where it is like a, um, a new beginning. But the Four of Wands is also a, a confirmation here for you guys that it does look like that you have attended to everything. What I mean is like there is not a single important aspect of your work, of your relationship life, uh, or of your private life, if you will, that you have not paid attention to. So you can go, you can move forward with a clear mind and clear heart that you did everything you could. Uh, next one, which is the fifth card. Uh, is going to be the page of pentacles we do have a a person here another one now this one it is more likely to be rom romantically involved with you because the page of pentacles it is a about a friend you have if we're talking about romans that has more than just a friendship towards you i mean feelings more than just a friendship towards you why because the page of pentacles it's uh it's a dedicated to one single thing and um it is all about their life right now and 
if that is in your reading areas, then it means that that page of pentacles is dedicated to you one way or another. It could be your child as well, you know, which being dedicated to you and to your way or way of living. OK, want to copycat you in everything you, you do. But above everything else, page of pentacles sees you as the most important that person sees you as the most important thing happening for them right now and uh, they are going to give you the full attention they have or they want to they want to give you i don't know how to describe this but but, but most likely it is uh, someone that it kind of finds you appealing it is a friend of yours that secretly admires you to um to a small or a big extent and um it, it wants to have more with you than just an interaction or just a, a friendship. Uh, next one, which is the sixth card, is going to be the Eight of Pentacles. So Eight of Pentacles, uh, how can I say it? Well, um, it kind of urges you to attend to the endeavors throughout the week with a, a full extent of seriousness you can. And I think that this is kind of very common. This is kind of like a common sense from the first card I drew about the triumph, about the determination and all that. But it does look like that the Eight of Pentacles also asks you for your conscientiousness, meaning that whatever you do needs to be supported with your conscientiousness, your goodwill, and as well, you know, the outlook of what happened after. Eight of Pentacles, it is a card pointing that a a plans or a long uh, a, a plans that took a long time to develop now finally they can start being manifested it is because it's highly related to the four of wands card that we do had previously pointing that you have already attended to all the details you could and now you do have a clear sign a green one to move on forward with your things with your future romans you know with your uh, future career and so on and so forth above everything else here eight of pentacles asks you to take an initiative okay work with a uh, subtle precision over your endeavors and over your tasks either career or either relationship wise do not be negligent to the important details that those tasks are having it is because exactly the minor details are what can actually deprive you of being victorious and having a triumph at the end of the week and as we are speaking about the end of the week we do have the queen of pentacles so that is another person now it does look like that you are going to be quite crowded here throughout the week um queen of pentacles it is uh the type of a person who sees huge potential in you okay and um in a term of that it is not like she sees it she i'm saying she it is because it's a queen but it could be as well a man all right and it is not like uh, she sees that your momentum it's fulfilled here with the chariot but she just sees that you have that you can go for so much more so what happens here with the queen of pentacles for you aries it is that most likely that is someone as a that plays a role of a, a counselor to you uh most likely that will be your boss your mother for example or someone that breeds a common sense in you saying that you are having a a good momentum at that point okay and it will be a shame if you do not try to identify every single potency that you do have into your own current endeavors at that point and find a lot and finalize them to their maximum extent rather than striving constantly for a something new so uh, from one side it does look like that this person is going to put a bit of a brakes on you okay but from the other also is going to be a person who is going to help you to maximize your profit from the current job from the current relationship you know or in generally from the current deals and enterprises that you are tackling with with at that particular moment because what you're going to learn from the queen of pentacles it is that only thing that matters at the end of the day it is what you can call yours okay it is not what you have experienced it is not what you have achieved but what you can have what you can 
name as yours. And obviously working for someone else, you can't name anything yours, right? Unless it is a promotion, that it is your promotion, okay? It is a salary, it is your salary, because manifesting a uh, important project that does not breed any results for you, it doesn't do anything for you. So the way that I interpret this card here is that it's a person who is going to make you recognize your true value. And I do believe that you are going to start valuing yourself much more than what you have, uh, the way that you have valued yourself up until now. So that being said, Aries, this was your weekly uh, general tarot reading. Hopefully you enjoyed the way of um, that th this reading was structured. Like I said, it is something I haven't done up until now in front of camera, that is. And um, we're going to see each other around. Until then, bye.